real quick, we're gonna rapid fire some questions for Troy. Um, if Jackie is still free, they said uh, they would be down to answer a couple more questions real quick because their thing got cut a little short. Um, and then we'll wrap up. Well, you guys will wrap up. I am still gonna play Clear Lakes and Ekva because it is tradition at this point. Oh boy, uh, okay. But at that, no soundboard for that. At that point, I just hover. It should be nothing but soundboard. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, let's rock into it. Uh, Twitch chat, whoever's still here. Oh, Jackie's still in chat. Hell yeah. Give us a couple minutes, Jackie. We'll add you to it. Um, Don't forget about the ones that people actually submitted yes. to if there's any left yes. of those. Yes. Uh, going through the good those ones. Those are the ones I felt bad about not answering. So. <laughs> truth, truth. Uh, all right, this one's an easy one for you, Troy, from Noah. Will you ever come to the UK for a convention? Um, if I can find one that'll fly me there, I guess. Hell yes. I'm not... Look, if anyone out there has a convention, I'm not hard to get there, okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> just pay for my plane ticket in my hotel room. I'll do the rest. Hell Come on, yes. please. Um... But yeah, I mean, I imagine it is not cheap to fly to the UK, but if there's one that is crazy enough to want me to come, I will. Hell yeah. Is there a favorite scene that you'd like, in particular, a cup that you can just point to and be like, love that shit? <laughs> um, let's see. The, uh, I have one. I can name one for each season, actually. Um, the entry in season one with tim standing in front of the window that one was really fun to shoot because that was like well before we had any scripts or anything <laughs> so tim was literally just improvising the entire time um even even the interview with tim one we just had like talking points so um in fact i think I think we said on the commentary too, but like the paper that I hand him in it are the talking points. <laughs> so you can just look at them. Um, uh, season two was probably uh, the one where I break in the house uh, and steal the and steal the key. 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 Um, because that that one was really that one was really fun to shoot because Joseph was extra snarky uh, during that and. Um, <laughs> You forgot your and then of course, light. yeah, and then of course season three would be um, you know figuring out the the hoodie fall. That one was we were that that one I'm really proud of. I think yeah, was, I, that was where that was where like all of us came together and got it figured out. I I joked about it earlier, but uh, legitimately go buy the Blu-ray special features digital download because the like twenty minute uh, special feature on how that scene was created is legitimately so Even cool high quality i think it's 1080p which is the only thing <laughs> in marvel burnets that's like not filmed on a potato <laughs> it's it was filmed on the same camera that we use it was just set to a higher quality <laughs> well it's Fair also enough. just like really good like it is legitimately informative and like seeing you guys construct the scene from scratch and like we just watched it play out and shit rocks it still looks so cool and i'm not just saying yeah that it makes us here. it makes us it makes us look we're like we really know what we're doing which was nice <laughs> this, is, this is an interesting one uh from uh frogbia <gasps> that's what I was, what has i, I was oh. about to ask that <laughs> <laughs> well too bad uh what has the storyboarding slash planning process been like for the marble hornets comics um i wish jackie was here uh so the uh the storyboarding is pretty much done by jackie um we'll ask them when uh, when they stop in <laughs> yeah uh but any time that i like i do my best to describe things in the script but i'm not great at it sometimes so jackie will have me like draw it out for them uh i'll like uh I'll... <laughs> there's a few in the special edition of the various comics of like my crappy little like finger drawings that I do on my phone that I send to Jackie. <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll do things like that for them. Uh, and then Jackie will send me like roughs 
and everything, and if anything ever needs to change, which I don't think I've ever said, hey, change this, I don't think, because Jackie, like, understands um, comic page layout really well, so they get the I don't vibe. think I've ever, uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever said, hey, this, I don't like this layout, but it is always good to see it. Hell yes. This question comes from Alex, uh, also known as that trans proxy. And this is something that has for sure been asked before. But for all the new heads, all the new people joining This in, one's for the new heads. Uh, do you think Jay was a trust fund kid? I can't imagine <laughs> any other way he kept hotel hopping and affording gasoline. LOL. Um... So, like, the answer we always say as as the bit is, yes, he's a trust fund baby, but the other actual answer, I guess, is that it does not matter. <laughs> uh, it is information that is not important uh, how True. Jay does it. He just does. Yeah, suspension um, of disbelief. It's like, because then it's like, oh, we explain how Jay gets into all these hotels, and it's like, okay, where'd that money come from? Okay, well, then where'd that... It just... it it. And it, it causes you to, to explain a whole trail of things that don't matter ultimately. So it, I, I, I usually hate the cop out of it's up to the viewer. But like when it comes to information that like doesn't have an effect on the story itself, <laughs> um, it's up to the viewer. <laughs> uh, I got another quick one here from Ellie uh, and they ask, who is your favorite character and why? But if you want to go more granular, who's your favorite comic character? Because oh, you, I can do both. Yeah, I, I was gonna say because I I assume Jay, because that's you. No. Oh, interesting. <laughs> um, I would say. I mean, I'm sure Joseph would probably give the exact. Joseph would not say Alex either. Um, probably Tim. Okay. Honestly, because um, just from the fact that like he got it i mean from like a behind the scenes perspective pledge to the kickstarter um he definitely came into it very organically and it was cool to like slowly work him into the story so much that um he took it over at the end basically uh, oh, yeah. so protagonist um, yeah he like ultimately becomes the new protagonist and the ultimately the good guy so like his character arc i think is the most uh like defined i guess um sorry i'm not like drunkenly ranting like the last one i'm actually answering the question no no this is good uh, how <laughs> dare you <laughs> but yeah like it was i i felt that tim had a really had a really fun character arc doing his uh um his heel face turn over yeah. the course of, it, of the two of the three seasons it, it is always jarring like watching marble hornets in one sitting because believe it or not i do sit at my computer for most of this stream i get up to stretch because i'm not insane uh but seeing tim from his first appearance go from like the kind of snarky asshole with the whole like spent so much money on tapes can't afford real actors uh, yeah. to kind of becoming the heart and soul is like yeah. insane. uh it's but as far as comic characters go, who do you think would be your pick? Um, hmm. Dan. <laughs> uh, Dan is like the most is the character that is based the most on an actual person. Um, almost perfectly, <laughs> like he the, the person who Dan is based on looks like that and talks like that and everything. Um, Real life Dan. Yeah, real life Dan. I don't know where he is. Everyone now. knows uh, a Dan. <laughs> um, probably, I would probably say Taylor, because she is like, kind of is like the, the way that it's set up, is that like, in the comics, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not actually gonna spoil anything here because I know some people haven't actually read it or knew that it existed until now. Um, it's kind of set up where like Jessica is already deep in the shit of everything, and so Taylor kind of becomes the J character, and then like 
trying to understand how everything works. So it's kind of like a reversal of the web series. So I like I like that about about Taylor and like becoming, you know, the the kind of J character. Jackie, especially says when we answer. kill him. No, <laughs> or who knows? Got to buy issue five to find out, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I do really love how Jessica is characterized. Like, I do agree Taylor is probably supreme just from like a character point of view. But I really love, and especially the way Jackie, like, th they can capture such an expressive face. Uh, mm -hmm. Especially when it is, like, like, from far away. So it is, like, condensed and, like, v very low detail. It's like, I told, I, I told uh, Jackie when we were first starting, I was like, I love it when, like, animated things are shot from far away and they just have, like, little dots for eyes. Yes. I really love that. And Jackie was like, oh, my God, I love that, too. So, so <laughs> from Jack, what I remember. Issue uh, 5 should just be that, frankly. Issue 5 should be shown from <laughs> at least one mile away. <laughs> from trippy uh which shooting location was the most fun to be in and which felt the most risky by being there i'm guessing <laughs> the most risky was the the tunnels on account of the you know yeah i mean dying. it was yeah it was risky in that we almost died that time and risky from oh my god what are we breathing in um i actually i actually had a, a few months ago i had like a cancer scare oh, where oh. the where doctors thought I might have lung cancer. Oh I God. don't, by the way. I don't. That's good. Um, That's good. But there was a chance and they were like they were telling me how, how it could have happened and everything. Like they could you could have inhaled something and I was like, Oh my God, I know exactly Marble how. Hornets is going to kill me. <laughs> and we joked about it killing us and it actually will. Um turns out it was nothing. But That's so um, crazy. Yeah, like when they told me that, I was like, "Oh shit!" Like it's coming, it's coming back to bite me now. Um, so uh, yeah, that was. I mean, ultimately, that place is probably the the most risky to be at. Um, the The abandoned hospital was like relatively risky to be at, especially at night, because um, even though we had total permission to be there, um, we we had to use flashlights, and you can see those from far away. Yeah. So we had to use our flashlights pretty sparingly. Like we we kind of had an unspoken rule of like don't point them up. Like always keep them pointed directly at the ground in front of you, so it like doesn't reflect anywhere. Begin. You can see it like through those windows. Um, but yeah, like it was. Th there was always just a little. It wasn't being scared of the location. It was more scared of having to leave and come back. Like, sometimes we would get there and there'd be other people there and we'd be like, well, shit, like, they're gonna be wandering around and we're gonna have to shoot around them or, you know, we have yeah. to leave or something. That was the biggest, the biggest thing to be afraid of was, oh, God, do we have to come back here? Because it was, it wasn't a short walk to that location, at least from the direction that we came from. So it was always a bit of a, um... It was always a bit of a, of a to-do to get out there. Cameo um, because appearance. we from the new because, strangers <laughs> yeah because we never we never like parked in the front of it because we were like that's too easy to see and someone might ask us to leave even though we have all the permissions to be here so we always like took the, we always took the long way around <laughs> so it, it was annoying if we ever had to leave i don't think we ever had to leave because of other people but we did have to wait sometimes for other yeah. people um the entry where Jay and Tim are like sneaking through there and they see Hoodie walk by, uh, whichever one that is. 67? 66. 66, I'm a fake fan. Oh, fake fan, not a real head. You're a fake head. Um, when we were <laughs> shooting that, I, I'm pretty sure it was that one. There were like kids shooting each other with airsoft guns in oh my there. Oh, God. Like they were having like an airsoft fight or whatever, which. I've never been shot by an airsoft gun, but I feel like it would not feel good. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't. I can tell not. you. I can tell you. Uh, so they were, like, shooting each other and everything. We were like, man, I hope they don't, like, shoot us, to <laughs> Shoot the camera um, right in the middle. Yeah. So that was scary to be at just because of that. Um, but they left, like, an hour after we got there, so it was nothing. Um, 
the funnest location to be at was one that I, that we knew we had enough time to be in <laughs> that we had the most control over. Like any time we were outside, it could always be an issue because you'd have like planes going by, you could have cars driving by, all that stuff. Um, so being inside was nice. <laughs> um, That's fair. Can I tell you something very quickly, Troy? Yes. The Kickstarter is at seventeen thousand uh, dollars. Yeah. Holy I posted. Shit. I posted it on the Marvel Hornets channel. So. Hell yes! I saw. It's I got getting, it. It's it's getting that four hundred and eighteen. Yeah. So I, like, I really hope it gets to a hundred thousand, but I also really don't want it to get to hundred thousand. Invaders in. You should have put that in the Marble Hornets channel video. 100k yeah. Invaders M. Stretch goal. Uh, that's so crazy. I'm so stoked. I, I still have uh, channel notifications on for Marble Hornets because uh, I'm waiting for Entry 88 to come out still. Yeah. I saw a couple of people when I said that we were going to have an announcement today. They were like, are you going to do Entry 88? Yes. Like, no. This stream is Entry 88. If this Kickstarter reaches one million dollars, I will make Entry eighty eight just you, for you. You heard it here first, folks. Get on. And then it. I will run away with you all the make... money. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm going to do one or two more quick questions, and then we're going to bring Jackie on just to uh, ask them a couple quick art related questions, because uh, there were a bunch for them specifically that we didn't get a chance to. Um, Hans, the person, he asks. If you had the chance, what entry would you change and why? Um, it might be unpopular, but um, the one, uh, I think it's a single digit entry, the one where the operator actually comes to the door. Yeah, yeah. Um, with the blood, with the blood. People, people, yeah, people seem to like that one, but we never liked it that much, especially in retrospect, but we could probably do a better job of it with the things that we learned by the end of season three, we probably mm -hmm. could have done a better job of it. But I mean, if people like it, then yeah, who am I to judge? <laughs> uh, got one here from Kov, Kov, K O V. Uh, I'm going to retool it a little bit. Are there any fan interactions that you, that stick out in your mind that you always remember? Like either so funny or just so absurd that you, um, well, meeting Jackie for the first time was cool because that was in Connecticut uh, at Connecticut. I think they like drove to see us from Toronto, which is kind of wild. That's insane. Um, <laughs> they are so meeting meeting Jackie. They gave us um, they gave us a lot of art, and they gave us these little like clay charms they made, which I still have. Um, so that was cool. Uh, there was the the people that during the Thack era. They gave us um, a bunch of like weirdly flavored sodas, uh, and I think it's I think there's a video of it too. It might even be on the fact channel. Yeah, there is. Um, and I remember saying I remember saying like one of the flavors was was buffalo sauce, oh. and I was like I really hate buffalo sauce. I I was like as long as I don't get that one. <laughs> It's fine. And so we like picked random numbers to see which one we got. And I got fucking buffalo sauce. <laughs> There's a video I, in the video, like Joseph, just like I say the number, and he goes, <laughs> like he gets so excited that I got the one I, that I really didn't want. Listen, everyone um, go to the Thack YouTube channel. And if you want to watch this history, I think it's RTX, I want to say. I believe that, so. It was that because I think Noah edited that one together. Um, uh, there was, we were played mu original music multiple times by people. Um, I remember one, somebody sang with a ukulele called run the fuck away. Um, <laughs> just, it was a song about why don't you guys just run away? Uh, yeah, Pretty there's, good. there's been, there's been a lot of stuff going on. I remember, I remember at RTX, when we were there, back when RTX existed, apparently it doesn't anymore. Rooster um, Teeth, R.I.P. Yeah, uh, they set us right across from someone doing chainsaw art. So like every oh. now and then, we couldn't hear anything because someone was cutting stuff with a chainsaw. That's insane. <laughs> that was that was a weird time because that was when when Tim drove me to Texas in his car. 
and like the understanding was I would drive some of it and then halfway there he was like nah, I'll do it it's fine so like Tim drove like nonstop from Alabama to Texas how no... many hours is that um, um, we left very early in the morning I know that like the sun was just coming up um, and we got there it was like night so I mean at least 12 hours at least that's so insane probably more than that uh, there was a time when I had to go from, uh, well, this actually wasn't during Marble Hornets, but I did I did drive to Columbus, Ohio one time from Georgia in, in one trip because I was teaching a class there. I drove from Pennsylvania to uh, Bethesda, Maryland once. No reason. Oh, weird. What, what idiot got you to do that? <laughs> from uh, Wasteland Catarist. Are there any head cannons that people have made that you guys went along with? Like something all fans agreed upon? Um, no. Hoodie but... Future J. <laughs> yeah. Uh, none of that, but it's pretty much. It's basically the fans' fault that Tim ended up having as big of a part as he did. Because we never. Because, I mean, from the very beginning, he was just going to be in a couple of things. Like, I think the last time we were originally planning on having him on was the, like, in, the Entry 15. Um, Which entry is crazy, with, with, yeah. Yeah, and then Tim was such a cool guy that we were like, he should be in this more because he's actually really good at this. And also, people really seem to like him. So, um, that's where it started, where, where people responding to Tim really positively. Well, um, so, it eventually came to where it is at the end because maskey was originally just supposed to be like a random guy right like it's just supposed to be like um i think so i i think when we wrote maskey in originally we didn't have it locked down who it was okay i think but the sideburns were just too apparent that sideburn analysis <laughs> killed us man uh, but it that... was all it was it was it was the tim conspiracy <laughs> People he did that on purpose, so he couldn't get rid of him. He's too notable, too identifiable. Yes. Join. Oh, hey, they did it. Cool. Go Hang to on. bed, Jackie. That's what I'm no. saying. <laughs> you're also you're also Eastern Standard, right? I am. Eastern Gang, rise up. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, Gang. I... One one thirty in the morning, Gang. <laughs> Oh, I'm accidentally covering Jackie. Oops, let oh, me fix that. How dare you. Uh, shout out everyone in Europe right now who's, like, pulled an all-nighter. Yeah. What is wrong with... Someone... <laughs> I keep seeing that, too, and I'm like, what are? what is your problem? Someone earlier said that European. they have why? been in chat the whole stream, and I'm like, why? I have to be here. <laughs> no one else does. <laughs> uh... But Jackie, welcome back. Welcome back to the show. Uh, we asked a question. Let me pull it back up via the magic of control F real quick. Because uh, we got Troy's insight on this. Uh, but Frog Bia, he asks, what has the storyboard storyboarding and planning process been like for the Marble Hornets comics? <clears throat> I would say the storyboard process. It, sorry, I'm like losing my voice no, today. it's so all good. sorry if I sound a little hoarse, but um, the it... storyboard process is like what takes up most of the comic making, I would say. Um, because the thing is with digital art or with with digital art, you can rearrange things. Um, when you're doing things in watercolor and ink, it is less forgiving. So I like yeah. to be really, really sure when I plan out the storyboards, which means that. I take extra long with them. I don't know if I have a specific process. Uh, I would say, so normally Troy gives me the script and then I just like annotate it and I basically will like break it up into like scenes and like pages, like moments where it's like this has, this has to be a page break. And then I'll break those pages into even smaller pages. Um, and then somehow, hopefully I get within the page range of the issue <laughs> and i usually don't and i have to go back and like put more panels into the page um to make it fit 
that I I feel like the like the shot composition is always so crazy good. I don't know how you do it. Thank I, you. Like Jackie, and, have you ever seen like an actual like comic script before? Yeah. Like what they yeah. for real look like? I Yeah, yeah. I see them and it's like, oh, I was supposed to be doing that. Whoops. <laughs> I, I mean, was supposed to be telling you where they go in the in the panels and everything. If but it I'm works, like, you're better at that than I am. <laughs> if it works, it works. Like I kind of like the freedom, honestly, because it means that I can, I get to decide when the splash pages sometimes or like, yeah, you know, uh, the first actually the first comic script, proper comic script that I read, was when I got offered at one point to do the comics for Over the Garden Wall. Um, but I said no, because I like Marble Hornets more. Uh, <laughs> wow. I didn't know it was that, Jackie. It was. Oh it was Over the Garden Wall. You just told yeah. me that it was an offer. You didn't say what it was. <laughs> Come on. I mean, okay, I don't want to get into trouble with this, but I had a bunch of uh, informants from... The comics community that had been in it long this was like right when i came out of college so like i didn't know anything about pricing about company reputations or things like that because my program wasn't focused on comics i studied illustration which was just like make make picture, make um, picture com happen. comics are like a whole different thing and i did not learn shit about them from <laughs> college at all so um, I had some people tell me that uh, basically the company that was giving me that offer has like really shady ways of dealing with their artists. Like sometimes uh, they don't pay them on time. Sometimes they pay them really you. bad wages because yeah. like you'll find people that are like straight out of college that don't know how much to charge. So yeah, but I, I, it would have been cool to work on Over the Garden Wall and they, they sent me the script for it. Um, and everything. Um, but I was like, no. Gotta marble those hornets. Yeah. Uh, and I have well, no, no... I'm <laughs> flattered. <laughs> <laughs> I love Over the Garden Wall. I would totally have understood. <laughs> Mia, do you got any locked and loaded for Jackie and Troy here? Uh, for Jackie from Spiky Friend. Uh, I just Ooh, want to ask, name. was there anything to influence your art that has stuck with you, like a certain style or technique you learn, or etc.? By the way, your art has really inspired me, truly. Wow. Um, wow. Well, first of all, I'm really happy to hear that my art's inspired you. I don't know if there's one specific singular thing that's, like, inspired my art. I feel like it's, like, years and years of just, like, stuff that I like compiled somewhere in my brain folder um i think a lot of people compare me in the 2010s like so many people would compare me to like tim burton um to the point where that got really annoying um <laughs> i got so fed up with it i feel like now oh uh, yeah uh, uh this that was more of a compliment in maybe 2010 than it is now uh <laughs> But I, I think a lot of people compare me to, like, the gorilla's art style, like Jamie Hewlett's art style, which I, I could see that. Um, but it's not always, like, a conscious thing. I feel like it's just, it's just stuff. Like, I've, I'm, always, I'm always just looking for, for new stuff to... I have seen the mood boards collect. you make before every, before yeah. every comic. Yeah. It's, it's an amalgamation of many different things. Yeah, there's. I don't think there's one singular thing. Uh, just sh shit that's cool. I put that in there. <laughs> that's all that. Matters. I'm greatly influenced by shit that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Respectable. Put as that on an their extra, tombstone. As an extra addendum, would you say there's anything that inspires you from different mediums, just like mood, or maybe gives you an idea or something? Anything that sticks out? Um. Yeah. Definitely. Um. I think I go through phases of like being inspired by different things. I feel like there's like a through line probably if I were to really sit back and like look at what I get inspiration from. Um, 
think like motion and like movement, like dance, animation. Um, I was I was talking about this on on my Patreon, but I I'm really I love like watching like live concerts, uh, like in recordings of concerts and also like live music. Um, and getting to see how people move with the music and how their like emotions kind of like influence their movements and gestures. Um, that's like a really maybe abstracted like, way of like explaining concerts, like things. Bands? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that... I don't know if that answered your question. No, I, I... Yeah, no that's really interesting. I, I feel like there is something to be said about a live concert energy that is just impossible to replicate. Uh, oh, no. I, that I, horrible I, pet concert I went to, Jackie. I'm I'm seeing him. I'm seeing I'm him so... uh, when July third, I think Hell he's in yeah. Toronto. Gonna... By the way, is that your Orville Peck Bronco vinyl in the background? Uh, yes, right up there. Yes, I thought Hell so. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell. My yeah. my prized possession. I paid a lot of money for that, <laughs> and it's beautiful. I love because it. I was not waiting in a mile long line on <laughs> record store day when they had one of them oh, in there. Hell. Yeah. I got I yeah. got to that record store and I was like, if one person in front of me wants that, this is a waste of time. So <laughs> I just found it on eBay later. I was like, no one will know except I just said it. <laughs> so everybody be cool. Uh, yeah, everyone be cool. Don't don't tell anybody. I yeah. waited for hours for that. Uh Troy, I do want to extend this question to you as well with Nordo Bandy because that has like really i it, it has been super interesting watching people join the grandpa discord that are like only familiar with nordo bandy and are like learning about marble hornets and ekva through i that. didn't know that was a, a type of person but okay there has, a few of them yeah there's been a couple and i mean when we were at spx there were a couple people that like had no idea anything marble hornets but picked up a nordo bandy issue yeah uh yeah. And, By the way, I will have that updated soon. I've just been busy with all of this. <laughs> As one is. Uh, but is there anything that like you would say has directly inspired it, either stylistically or medium-wise? Like, Oh, God, I'm not good at art questions because I don't really <laughs> consider myself an artist. Uh, well, you should. Nordo Bandy kicks ass. You are literally should. an artist. Nordo Bandy. <laughs> So. Everybody get some thank you Troys in chat. <laughs> but I thought we thank were canceling you, Troy. Troy before. <laughs> Make up your mind. The way the internet is. Everybody get some <laughs> up to date, Grandpa. <laughs> Can we get some uncanceled um, Troys in chat? Um, I mean, I just... It's based on the things that I would draw when I was little, I guess. Um, I I would always, you know draw these really simple designs of everything and I can't I, I don't want to say more to like spoil the whole story of it of where I'm going with it but it's like what what would happen to those characters that people forget about you know so um, like when when I, I see it in my daughter a lot too where like she's really into just drawing literally anything like she doesn't plan it out at all um <laughs> And it's like, man, I really hope that like that sticks with her like forever, and she doesn't stop doing that. Um, so I was, I, the Nordo Vandy comic is just kind of an idea of like what happens to those characters that people move on from, that you know, that are forgotten, and what happens to them. So um, I don't want to spoil anything else other than that. But like that's kind of where I approached it from. And also, I'm not a. Um, I'm not, like, a super, like, I don't know, like, a lot of art things. Like, I don't know composition or, like, color theory or any of that stuff. I just, I kind of do it for fun, and that's kind of how I like it. Um, so, like, I just I just do it for fun. That's, that's always been my approach to it. No offense to Jackie. <laughs> Uh, I'm so I offended. Never, I could never do this for a living. <laughs> All right, guys, let's recancel Troy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'm um, surprised I can in any way. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, it's just it's just 
I I tried to do a comic back when I was in college. Um, turns out doing those is hard. <laughs> so oh, no. being being the the um, uh, the the fool that I was, I stopped doing it instead of sticking with it. So now I'm like doing my absolute damnedest to stick with it and keep going with it as as long as I possibly can. So it and rocks. I'm getting and I'm getting pretty far. It's just you know other things happen that distract me from doing it, like putting this Kickstarter together or you know shipping store orders and stuff like that. So um, I have not forgotten about it. I promise. I am, I am working on it. It's like the same. The same answer I give with like when is Ekva twenty gonna happen? And I'm like Tomorrow. I promise. I promise it will. I promise. I probably said the exact same thing last year. Uh but I it will happen. I'm just busy. I'm sorry. I, I do very much implore any Marble Hornets fans that haven't checked out Nordo Bandy. Very cool vibes. Like just kicks ass. Uh, Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, Nordo Bandy rules. the compliments now, I guess. <laughs> Take yeah. them. How I seriously relate to coat. I'm also <laughs> tired all the time. <laughs> Relatable characters. Uh, Jackie, we asked this to Troy. Um, who? I, I think we've asked your favorite like Marvel Hornets series character before, but is there a favorite comic character that you just relate to the most? That I relate to. I'm trying to um, spice it up. I feel like I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to give these questions some some zing. <laughs> I, I'm a, I'm also a big Taylor fan. I do love Taylor a lot. Um, I think Jessica's kind of my girl. I feel semi responsible for her. Your mustard girl. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck up. <laughs> um, I'm never gonna hear the end of this. I now. love Damn how it. much you love. I love how much you hate the mustard girl thing because we literally... also hate that. I said it, and I was like, "Fuck!" I the, the curl of the monkey's well, paw. <laughs> and Joseph, Joseph christened it. It's canon now. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. God. Um, yeah, we do. We do love my mustard girl, though. I I love her a lot. Um, most relatable character. Um, uh, coworker Dan. We we are yeah. coworker Dan fans. Yeah. In the club. Coworker Dan stands. Yeah. Hands, hands. Um, I'm also feeling old and tired and overworked all the time. That, uh, all the time. The guy that that Dan is based on was also named Dan, um, and I and I worked with him when I was a, a manager at a grocery store. Um, he was yeah. like a retired lawyer, so he was like Ow. really smart, really smart, but also really tired, but also. <laughs> afraid of being bored so that's why he worked at a grocery store damn so he just like he was one of those people that has a job that he doesn't need so like just he didn't fun. have to put up with shit ever um yeah. so he was just like he was having a good time most of the time right on respect. <laughs> yeah i respect that did i ever send you like a picture of actual dan jackie no to, like, no you just described him you described I guess I him. Described him really well. <laughs> like, well I you got him exactly right. I based him off of a guy that I worked with when I also worked at a grocery store. <laughs> Everyone's got a Dan. <laughs> That's what I was Everyone saying. Everyone has a Dan. Uh, I think Troy sent me that photo. Let's put this guy's full name and address. <laughs> no, let's not do that. Actually, I don't even remember his last name. So, yeah. Uh, that I do. I do have a picture of him standing under a sign that has the word trash with an arrow pointing down at him. That's great. And nice. it was like, we like Dan. Uh, Mia, you got any ones in the chamber real quick? Because if uh, one, I do. Or I mean, if not, I do. Uh, this is from Chess. Uh, for both Troy and Jackie. Uh, Jackie, you were asked about designing characters in the comics and going off of that um was there any conscious decisions towards a wardrobe for the series and for jackie since you were given mostly free reign did you like try to channel anything for the characters or were you just going like yeah this looks good it was definitely like considering um what colors would look really good in different environments like uh, when Troy 
originally described Jessica's ship out uniform. Um, I remember you said it was like, it's going to be like a matching like button up shirt or like polo and like pants so that when they're together, it's going to look almost like a jumpsuit, but like yeah. kind of not. And so I was like, okay, same color. Um, so, but I just played around with the colors basically. And um, at one point I was thinking like, Ooh, shitty, shitty job work uniforms that nobody looks good in. Um, and I was like, this is realistic, but also this is going to be a pain to make look good over and over again. So <laughs> I opted for like that, like brownie yellow. Um, I don't know. I think Jessica rocks it. She she rocks it. She rocks it. I there was I was originally going to do like a yucky green greeny brown or like make it look like she's in the yellow. army <laughs> yeah yeah I, I was like no this this looks too bad she deserves a little she better than this camo. yeah she <laughs> just has like a rifle slung around her back <laughs> but as far i mean as, yeah. it looks good because we've had multiple people i've seen multiple people cosplay yes. comic yeah. jessica before and it always looks awesome I, <laughs> so yeah good that's job. been nuts wow. like seeing that I, truly the coolest thing i showed some art from drac uh awful wings on stream earlier the way that they draw jessica every time she just nails it like she nails yeah the vibe in every the ship out uniform every time looks so dope i think i think awful wings is the person who is in the uh the fan art very fast slideshow in the kickstarter video i think they're the only person who's in it yes. twice uh I hold on. Pull up, everyone. Pull up the stream immediately. Mia has already seen this, what? and I put it on stream earlier. Uh, My computer's the, off. You'll have to tell me about it. Oh, uh, oh! I saw this. <laughs> she made a made a Garfield strip, but with Jessica, and then Garfield is Scully. Here, wait. I'll DM it to you, Troy. Because it's, okay, it's, it's, it's that important. It's really good. Really, it's really that, good track. Uh, Mia, yeah, I understand. Mia sent it to me, but I also saw it on Twitter and retweeted it. Um, because I think during the art showcase earlier, we said that like, oh, sorry, you didn't follow any of the prompts, disqualified. Uh, so the mustard. <laughs> it's so. It's... I'm I'm really surprised that nobody did the like Garfield speak to me image. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> I like that yeah. that could have that was really underutilized. Make Garfield hoodie deflated on the ground. Oh it writes no. itself. Uh, yeah. But Troy, as far as like the characters in the show itself, how I feel like you guys have talked about the color theory a little bit because you said like J is earth tones, right? Jay wears what I wore at the time. Uh, so a lot of browns. Uh, I I wore brown shoes and brown shirts a lot. So that was what he wore because that's what I had. Uh, and then it kind of became like like the what Joseph was talking about earlier about how you know like how in cartoons um, everyone always wears the same clothes and it's like we eventually realized that each character had a definite look. Um, and, and we didn't want to deviate from that very much. So a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of earthy colors, like browns and reds for Jay, I think. Um, yeah, I'm wearing a brown shirt now. Uh, it's a sign. Or it's like an orangey brown, like a, like a dirty brown. So yeah, I have not learned anything. Um, and, uh, yeah, like Tim was a lot of, well, plaid, obviously, um, and browns <laughs> and joseph was like blues usually so yeah i mean we didn't set out to make it that way but we realized usually from like seeing fan art from, that people do is like you kind of see the way that fans see a certain character and so then you like it's easier to you know see like have them dress in that way that people will, will recognize them the most easily but we never when Joseph and I were writing on note cards on my mom's kitchen table, we weren't like, now what should Alex wear? Like, we never <laughs> did that because we didn't think it would be that big of a deal. So, And here we are. Just, yeah. <laughs> I mean, originally, Jay wore a black jacket a lot. And um, in fact, I think he wears it sometimes in season three. Maybe. I think that's what he, he wears. Did he wear it when he dies? I was just about to say. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 
Yeah, and uh, I, I was thinking of the one where I wake up in the shack. I was wearing it, but yeah. yeah. But, but people rarely have him in that when they do like fan art or something. It's always the brown hoodie, which I still have sitting right over there. Um, <laughs> so yeah, what, one of the few things that did not fund the comics. <laughs> uh, I, I R.I.P. items. I I always wonder the person who got the camera because you auctioned the original camera correct yeah uh they posted on the marble hornet subreddit they're like i got it and there was a tape in it with some like footage from the day of entry 87 i'll post it and they never did but uh two things that camera didn't take tapes so no uh (laughs) and i forgot what the second thing was uh, it, is, it is it is it is it is 10 minutes till 2 a.m so i oh, i hope fuck. that can be forgiven Ooh, shit. um Sorry, i don't think that was that probably wasn't the real person because i talked to them some damn well okay actually actually uh it didn't have it didn't have tapes but i did put some stuff on it on ah. the internal hard drive on it well, i did maybe put some of that in there maybe they just said tapes for the illusion then Maybe. Uh, so, um, uh, I didn't put, I might have put a few raw footage things in there that didn't reveal anything uh, in there, but it was like six of them or so, just as a, hey, here's a fun thing Lost to do. Media. I didn't know if they could even, I didn't know if they could even get it off. That might have been why, because there's like a proprietary thing that you had to like, it was like a little dock thing. I don't think I sent it to them because I couldn't find it um, that you used to transfer the footage to a computer. So mm. maybe that's why they didn't put it out there. Damn. Wow. That, uh, solved, potentially. that camera is now definitely like in the wind somewhere because the person who won it, unfortunately, is no longer living. So um, it was given to one of their friends, I think, and I kind of lost track of it. So it's out oh there somewhere. Oh, my gosh. What? That's so insane. I had no uh, idea. That is insane. I, I have no idea who has it now. Well, honestly, it's gonna show up in like thirty years. I was gonna say that, like, at like a, I'm gonna find it at a garage sale and be like, <gasps> oh my god, the memories. I'm gonna be like eighty years an old. An operator symbol carved into it. Uh, on all the things that I sold, I did because I was like hey, I want you to know that this is the real one. So I like I would put a mark on it somewhere okay. before I send it to him, and I would only tell them where it was. So if, like, if anyone ever tried to like sell something on eBay, like, oh, it's the one that was used or something, I could actually look at it and tell, like, no, that is not it. <laughs> I, I was a smart boy. That really is some foresight. I would not think of that. <laughs> I carved something into Alex's gun. Wow. Dick butt. Uh, <laughs> just like a yeah. carved into the side of it. Yeah. Uh, that would take effort. It's a good I use craft. I use one of those little like spinning engraver things. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. Eh. yeah. Uh I have another quick question here from Ellie for both of you. What is your favorite comic issue thus far? Because last year hmm. was issue four out last year? Mm-hmm. Issue four was. came out on TDOV last year okay. by yeah. accident. <laughs> uh, that was in March, you March third. I have first? no, I have no concept of time. It's all an illusion to me. That's fair. Really? I I think uh, every every issue that I put out, I'm like, this one's the best one because yeah. I put, I put in the most energy into like each one. Um. <laughs> Hell and yes. it just keeps compounding. Um, so I do love issue issue four a lot. I'm really proud of that one. I know when issue five comes out, I'm going to be like, I'm not going to put it out until I'm like 100% proud of it. Um, which is not to say that I'm never going to put it out. Um, it's just when it comes out, it's going to kick. There's, there's a lot in it. <laughs> so there's excited. a lot. It's, it's bigger than the other issues. It's Deluxe. slightly bigger, um, and there's many things that happen in it, so. <laughs> I, 
I still remember I was working at Yankee Candle when Troy sent me the final like PDF of issue three and I I was literally I clocked out I went to my car and I read it uh, and I got to the ending with the twist and I'm not gonna say it because go by the comics at shop.grandpo.co uh, store I I got or yeah store fuck store.grandpo.co <laughs> store.grandpo uh, I got to that twist I literally was like losing my mind I feel like I sent you like an all caps message Troy I don't recall what it I was pr- I'm, sh- I'm pretty sure you did yeah it was, like four years ago at this point but I was like holy fucking shit. So I, issue three, still, when I think about it, I'm like, damn, that's a really good one. But they're all so good. They're all yes, so good. Yes, they're all, they're all great, and I love them all. Uh, 3.5 is my favorite. A lot of, a a lot of 3.5 one. heads. A lot of people like that one. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm of the opinion that each one is my favorite until the next one comes out, and then I'm like, exactly. holy shit. I read issue crazy. four... Troy, you sent it when I was at work. It was at like 11 p.m. and I work overnight. And that was an interesting experience to read while in the middle of stocking shelves at Walmart. Oh, God. Was it, it, it was the script, not the finished thing. I, no, I think it was the finished thing. Oh, or maybe okay. it was the... Was it the finished thing? Or maybe it was the commentary. I don't remember. No, you sent both those similar times. Okay. Yeah, I, I was just wondering. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I was just curious. <laughs> I think it was the finished thing, and there's one specific scene involving a character that had not yet shown up and then showed up that fucked me up completely. <laughs> uh, I I remember uh, when three point five uh, I, when I received that I was at my friend's house uh, like visiting for the weekend, and I literally was like, guys, I need a couple minutes. I need a couple <laughs> minutes to read something. <laughs> uh, but they really are all so good. And issue five, go when it's available, <laughs> go get it. Um, Mia, do you have Making it? sure it's good. Gotta end on a high note. Yeah, it's like, a, what's the Shigeru Miyamoto quote? It's like, listen, it'll be good eventually, but if it's rushed, it'll never be good. A bad, a bad game is bad forever. Yes, exactly. A bad yeah. comic is bad forever. That was the exact same thing sure. that we said with the entries when we were making them. It's like people can, people would get really angry and say that it was dead and everything, and we were just like, ignore it. It'll be ready when it's ready. And like, people are going to experience this. The vast majority of people are going to experience this once it's done, once it's out there anyway. So like these few people getting pissed that it's not ready in time. They'll be fine. They'll get over it. This will be in the exactly. past soon. Yeah. So, but if we rush it and make it terrible, people are going to be like, oh, that's the entry where it started sucking. Yeah. Wow. Seven months between entry 26 and 27. <laughs> Dead shit. We had to move. Okay. It was a big life change. Uh, Mia, you got any in the chamber? Because I have a perplexing one. But No, God. Yeah, I have one. And I hope this is the one you're going to. Oh, to read I, be, I bet it is. From then. Willow. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, to Jackie, but also to Troy. What do you think the Marble Hornets characters would do if they woke up as vampires? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they would all kiss immediately. <laughs> they would all have gay sex. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they would all have gay transgender sex. As one does. I. The fact that vampires are such a like a deep cut Marvel Hornets reference that just get brought up. Like someone who submitted art earlier literally had their username A underscore vampire. <laughs> You've been there from the beginning. I th- yeah. I love that. I love that. Uh the, the the question I wanted to ask, so when Mia went through these questions, she marked the good ones green and the bad ones red. The ones that I shouldn't read red. But she marked exactly one of them yellow. <laughs> and I uh, I messaged Joseph earlier because I was going to bring this up in the wrap-up if he uh, if he could pop in for that, but I think he has fallen asleep. <laughs> uh, three beer, Joseph. Um, he's, he's probably twitching wildly because that's what he does when he sleeps. 
anytime we would fly somewhere, I would always knew know when he fell asleep because he was like he would be going like, God. like just flopping around in a plane. <laughs> that guy could sleep anywhere. Dreaming. I've deeply. never seen someone sleep on a plane so easily as him. Like I cannot sleep on planes. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Uh Oh yeah, I never sleep on a plane. I'm always gaming. I'm always. I need. Like, I, <laughs> I I don't sleep. Period. I'm always gaming. Have, have you guys watched? Fleabag? Why do you think I'm awake right now? <laughs> have you guys watched Fleabag? I, I'll get to the question in a second. I promise. <laughs> have you guys watched? Fleabag? No, but I want to. Uh, it is a very not safe for work show. I did not know this, and I downloaded all six episodes of the first season to watch on an airplane where I was in the middle seat. Oh no. The first sex scene. This is why you need an Apple Vision Pro because <laughs> you can. I can watch my smut in peace. Yeah, <laughs> you look so much more normal. Literally, when you're sitting on a plane. With the it. first time I saw one of those in person was on when we I was getting on a plane to go to Ohio a few months ago. I, there was a guy, unsurprisingly, in first class wearing um, yeah. one of those, and he was just like. Sitting completely still, just like doing this Wrap every few the seconds, fuck in. like yeah. <laughs> uh, but Bye. there, there was a graphic scene literally several minutes in, so I literally just like flipped my iPad down, uh, and I have my AirPods in, and uh, for the rest of the flight, that that happened immediately in the flight. And I was like, for the rest of the thing, these people probably think I'm some kind of degenerate freak. And now I don't watch things on airplanes anymore. I play video, <laughs> I play video games, and that's it. Well, you gotta watch the in-flight movies. I like the really shitty movies that you would never. I watch, watch people watching the in-flight movies. Yes, yes, I do like, that. I can't commit I, to watching a movie, but I can yeah. glance over. Yeah, when I when I went to New York with Callie like last weekend when we flew there. Uh, someone, I, I, I will try to figure out the movie that they're watching, and uh, it's a guessing game. I, it, I, it was uh, they were watching it, and I could not figure out what it was. Uh, and then I realized it was the Avengers. <laughs> like it took me a very long time to figure it out. You see the big green guy, and you're it's like, "What the fuck movie. is this?" <laughs> the I. Last I I think I saw the Avengers, and that was the last time I saw a Marvel movie, so, yeah. The last flight I was on, I don't even think I watched any movies. I tried to watch Succession mid, like, season three, because I didn't have seasons one and two. I was on the flight to, to, to Copenhagen, and uh, it was overnight, and I couldn't sleep. I was trying to sleep. Um, Chris just watched the Lego movie beside me three times in a row. Hell good. Yes. Hell yes. I did that with Spike. <laughs> the good Thank that is the most Chris sounding thing <laughs> I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> that's. So I have sad. seen Chris in person one time and I know that that's the most Chris thing ever. You're correct. <laughs> uh, oh my god. In New York we went to the Lego store and they had like a giant like Lego movie display thing there and it was Amazing. Awesome. I went to I I was in New York right when Tears of the Kingdom came out, uh, and they had like a crazy Link statue. I almost said Zelda statue, and I wasn't even doing a bit. I almost called Link Zelda. Uh, in the Nintendo store. Yeah, yeah, they had. Is like his a, arm lit up? Uh, I, yeah, I believe so. I think it's I still picture. there. Oh, <laughs> I yeah. saw it <laughs> last Hell, weekend. Yeah, I uh, I I've only been to New York the one time, but it fucking rocked. It was so dope. There was weed everywhere. The whole there was. Oh, you everywhere. should come there here. There was a lot. I it was yeah, a lot. I need to compare and contrast with. Canada. You need to come up here right now, Kyle. Okay. We've, we we were done with the weed. Now we're on to mushrooms. Oh shit. <laughs> the weed is like. Oh, you smoke weed. What are you like a loser? It's a baby's toy. You bong. <laughs> you seven. Kyle, remember when we went to Bethesda and everyone went outside at the same time? <laughs> And it was just like boom, like on that little porch. Like we went, we went to the award show, the uh, the prom. Uh, yeah, no, it, it was it was after they they did the prom oh, after fuck. the award show. Oh, uh, after the, the Ignatz, um, Ignatz, Ignatz, yeah, after the Ignatz awards, and oh. at the end of it, the guy in charge of it said, 
all right, everyone go outside. It's legal here. Like, and it was, and they did. And you walked outside. Hell and it was yeah. like a wall. Like you literally yeah. just, like felt it. It was warm. It was great. <laughs> it rocked. It was like what September. So like. Yeah, there was a definite warmness in the air. It rocked. Yeah, uh, and we were just like, "Do we talk to anybody? Like, what are we supposed to do?" Uh, <laughs> so we found uh, Vivi Doodles. Uh, shout out, shout out. I don't know if they're in the stream. I think they liked my story about it at one point. So if they were here, shout out. Um, and just kind of like hung out. There were so many people everywhere, and I felt so. I was like. I don't want to just like go up to people. Um, yeah, I'm not good at approaching people I don't know. Yeah. Vivi's great though. Yes, they they are They're so great. cool. Uh, they were wearing a pink like jumpsuit, which is also what the silver sprocket people were wearing, but it was totally unrelated, <laughs> and so that was just kind of. Nice. Uh, Troy and I met. Sorry, I listen. I'm so sorry. It's so late, but I just remember that Troy and I met a truly insane person. Uh, and it was just... Was it the paper plate guy? Yeah. Oh, okay. What? Uh, mm -hmm. it was just a very mm -hmm. bonkers... So, like, there were a bunch of cool people. I don't want to, like, name names because it's mean. And if someone there was, like, this guy's other stuff is cool. Like, it's fine. It was just... He, he came up to us, offered us an art trade... And I was like, I'm so sorry. All I have, like, is stickers. Because, like, I wasn't going to trade any of your stuff without asking you, Jackie. So I was like, I have... You fully could have. Uh, so I just gave him a sticker. And I think... Uh, and I, I was like, you can take more. He's like, I don't need duplicates. <laughs> okay. Uh, he was trying to get rid of stuff so we didn't have to bring it back on the plane. Yeah, so he gave us two books, I think, right? They were, like, this thick also. And they were this thick and they were like um spiral bound and Damn. they were scans of paper plates uh that had that he drew his things on yeah and it's like that would be dope as hell but the That's books kind of sick. it would be so cool but the books that we got had some truly questionable content and this is yes this isn't me being the woke police this was like i am concerned if because the, there were some there were some out there opinions well, being expressed in it and, and it like the front of the book claimed it was like autobiographical and like this was oh. his life story oh. so i was like ah. uh and so after i just remember after the prompt we left them on a table which was you know <laughs> i left them on a table because listen i was not to hauling those back in my suitcase. Troy wasn't flying back. With they were, them. yeah, they were, yeah, huge. they were big. They, they would were... not have fit in my suitcase anyway. They were literally, uh, yeah, they were like large. Yeah, I mean, they were like probably like t they were square too, so it was like probably twelve by twelve. They were legitimately is wide. What it was. Oh, Troy, <laughs> Troy has a thumbs up. I don't know. Yeah, my phone does that. I don't know why. Um. Um. But... Yeah. So we, it, it was just like, why are these on paper plate? Like, why are these scans? of paper plates yeah we're getting into the deep on lore. the paper yeah i mean it's like oh that's i mean the book was the actual size of a paper plate like an actual paper plate would fit inside of it like that's how big yeah. they were so it, it was very strange and we actually met the guy who was sharing a table with him too and he was like oh yeah that's just what he does he comes to all these yeah <laughs> like yeah. whether he's invited or not and what's wild is he would have had to get them printed somewhere, which means someone like who works at a printing place had to manually like put those together. Yeah, yeah. I that, that I mean, I'm pretty sure you can get those spiral bound things at like Staples, can't you? But like the page size. Oh, I don't know. Like that, Maybe that's just. The, I like, mean, they weren't like it was like the metal spiral bound. It was like the plastic, you know, like the black plastic kind of yeah. clip thing that has. It it had a kind of like business presentation feel to it, you know, like of the materials i mean it was just fascinating it was just very maryland was very and interesting he had like 12 different issues of it too like they were there was a lot we did some deep digging uh yeah anyway that's what you missed jackie There's don't get COVID questions. next time yeah i want to oh okay i'll try i want to go to <laughs> spx again um i want to go i just i need to start like going to conventions just walking around 
Kyle, uh, you should come to TCAP next time. I will. I will. You should. Uh, everyone in chat is asking about the yellow question. I'm so sorry. This has gotten so off. Yeah. So, oh, my okay. God. <laughs> uh, we should talk about paper plate guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mia has so thoughtfully divided the spreadsheet into red and green. Red is bad. Green is good. One question is yellow. Uh, I think I did this at two in the morning. Uh, so it, the name listed uh, is Taco Bell 2022, and the pronouns are sucking and fucking. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was mine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and they ask. <laughs> So, in Marble Crustaceans, Alex Crilly shrimps the guys. What's that about? And that's all it says. <laughs> and just the fact that Mia went through and marked this yellow. Okay. I don't know what it wasn't is. red. It was, I have no idea what to do with this. An Alex, I like that. An Alex Crilly <laughs> question. Real heads remember Crilly. Who up? Who up, what's Alex? That yeah, what's it about, Troy? <laughs> was... I'm gonna be a total boomer. Was was Alex Curley? Was that a Tumblr thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It yeah. was just literally yeah. the emo Joseph, like the fringe, edited yeah. onto a photo of a krill, and that's all it was. Yeah, and it was like everywhere. a shrimp. It was everywhere. Yeah. Mm. yeah, he shrimped that guy, didn't he? He shrimped that guy a lot. He totally yeah. shrimped him. What yeah. a what a piece of work. Well, yeah, he was a little bit of a crappy individual. But um, I wish I wish I still had the soundboard up. That would have been perfect. But um, but I I joined the stream just in time for you to play "Take Me Home, Country Roads" on the next to last entry. So I need everyone to know. You. I literally looked up entry eighty six ahead of time so I could time it out so that the knife drop would be almost perfect with the country roads. <laughs> Uh, that's the level of dedication I bring to these Marble Hornet streams. <laughs> I'm such a dad. That's like legitimately one of my favorite songs of all time. I, it's a nice song. <laughs> it's a good song. <sighs> well, it is two in the morning, folks. Thank you so much for your time. Mia, thank you for helping ask some questions. Uh, Jackie and Troy, thank you for returning again. Uh, Kyle, Kyle. Let's go again. Let's go again. Let's go again. Start it from the beginning. Let's go. Let's do it again. Season one. Listen, <laughs> listen, I have a can of energy drink that's 180 milligrams of caffeine in my refrigerator. I'll pump that. Is that a lot? God. Please uh, take care of yourself. The, the human Please. limit for the day is 400. So that's about half of your daily content. Uh, okay. In I don't drink day. coffee enough to know how much caffeine is a lot. A cup of coffee is something like 50 milligrams. Yeah. So 100, okay. 180 is more than Red Bull, more than a monster, so, I think. A cappuccino has espresso in it, doesn't it? Yes. Let's talk about I this learned for a while. that. I learned that when I was in Tennessee with my daughter and I gave her an uh, a cappuccino. Oh. She was you... very excitable for a, a couple hours. Do, do you give Callie um, refreshers? She likes the refreshers, yeah. Okay, because those are super caffeinated. Shit. People don't know that because it's a fruity drink. It's like and they think it's like, this is, oh my God. this is for kids. But it, it literally has coffee extract in it. It's meant to keep you awake. It's like the oh, Panera, no. it's the Panera yeah. Death Lemonade, but less extreme. Uh, yeah. That explains it because I was driving somewhere one time and I stopped and got one of the like the pineapple ones, the pineapple refresher things. Yeah. And I had a panic attack after I drank it. Oh. I, oh. I was like, is this related? It's just juice. But no, it's, now it's it not. Now it makes total sense. It's literally got green bean extract in it. <laughs> it and you went to used... Starbucks, so you know. I I fought in, in the war for the five trenches. fucking years as a barista. Uh, and the horrors I've seen. But yeah, they used to they used to advertise it as like, a, you know, an energizing drink. Like, it has caffeine in it. I don't know why they don't anymore. Um, probably hmm. to make money. The devil's trick. Um, but yeah, a lot of the frappuccinos also have caffeine, but they're the coffee flavored one. Yeah, so I, I usually get more her the one, the one decaf thing they have. I will get her that usually. But I yeah. did not know that the refreshers. Huh. 
Thank you, you can for get, letting me know that. <laughs> you're very welcome. If you want like a fruity drink, uh, you can get like uh, I don't I don't know. The U.S. menu is probably slightly different, but uh, passion tea lemonade is decaf. Okay. And it's fruity Good and know. it's sweet. So uh, that would be the closest. I I just need to draw attention for a second. Uh, Histronic Mutt in chat just highlighted a message that says, Can we kill Kyle Marble Hornet style next anniversary stream as a reference? <laughs> as a reference, yeah. As a, as a reference. reference. For, the, for the bit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, do it. Fifth, uh, the 50th anniversary, you wow. can kill me. Live yeah. execution at the yeah, tunnel. That, I'll be I'll be done by then anyway. I'll be like what seventy something? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'll still be running these streams. Kill me, kill me, kill me for the bit. It's fine. For the bit, for the gag, for the goof. You gotta commit. Uh, well, le like I said, I was gonna try to get Joseph in here, but I think he has made the smart decision and has uh, fallen asleep, like a normal human. Um. I am not a normal human and will be playing Clear Lakes 44 and Ekva after this if you would like to tune in, anybody. Uh, not you guys. This I'm will be my last chatters. appearance, for real. <laughs> no, Troy, Troy will be back at 3.30, uh, God. 5.30. He'll be back If every... I wake up to go to work and you're still doing this, I won't, we're going to have words. I won't. I won't. I promise. I promise. I, I will be uh, I'll be up in six-ish hours. You're so... so... Why are you here? Why are you here right now, fool? <laughs> I ask myself that all the time. <laughs> I take uh, naps. If anyone who is still here in chat, I haven't looked. Are we talking to anyone? Are we alone? <laughs> That'd be really funny for the whole time. That would be no really funny. Uh, but There's almost two hundred still. What the fuck? That's I, go to bed, everybody. You What's go your to problem? Sleep. We, sleep. We peaked. I almost at... said, don't you have school in the morning? But that's probably Somewhere. not the case. <laughs> we peaked at three hundred last year. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, wait, what did we peak at this year? Uh, four fifty, I think. Ooh, almost five hundred. The highest I saw was four seventy six. Oh, four. Okay. I just didn't screenshot that. Well, start banning people past four twenty. Okay. We maintain... Anytime someone anytime someone joins 421 out. Out immediately. Sorry. Mm -hmm. If someone leaves and we go to 419, we accept someone new. Yeah, we accept someone new. Yeah. Welcome in welcome into the fold. <laughs> uh I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. So... Good idea. Good idea. Well, thank you all so much for joining. Jackie, Troy, Mia, if you have any last thoughts, speak an hour forever hold your peace because I'm about or to At least be... for a year, right? Yeah, for yeah. one year where we will just be doing <laughs> for forever. phone this calls. Is the last one. And I'm going to just delete it next year. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's gone. <laughs> NFT, uh, it's becoming an NFT every episode. Because <laughs> Trap Top X is revenge. People, people, I had a few people ask, like, you know, people, like, you know, <laughs> like, hey, I work for this NFT company. Goals. Like, do you want to, <laughs> yeah, like, do you want to, like, would you want to create something for us or, like, make the entries? And I'm like, fuck off, dude. But anyway, can someone check what the Kickstarter is at right now? Mm -hmm. While I do the verbal credits. One second. Uh, yeah. No, Thanks. Nineteen thousand seven hundred eighty-seven. So close. So close. It's probably gonna uh, hit twenty before the stream ends. Three hundred dollars. Because like if if with during the Equa and Clear Lake stuff, it's probably it j it just went up to eight hundred fifty-three. You, God, you I'm better get that Invader Zim fanfic <laughs> set up, dude. God. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, thanks everybody who has donated to the Kickstarter so far. Uh, thanks everybody who's donated to the charity. Thanks everybody who bought the posters that Jackie made. That is awesome. Um, I will have those. I think it's set on the twenty fifth, so I will um, I will immediately start sending them out to everybody. Uh, please understand that I am one person. <laughs> I will get them out as fast as I can. Um, and thanks, Kyle. For doing this every year, I don't know if I'm actually pointing at you on the stream, or at you on my phone. It pointed um, at Mia, but close enough. Th thanks, Mia. Out. Thanks, Mia, for being so cool and proofreading the sample that everyone got to see. And let's get some thank you, Mias, in the chat. Yeah, thank you, Mia, th everyone say thank you, Mia. Um, or else you're banned. 
<laughs> hey, yeah, Kyle and Mia both are Discord mods. They they know how to do it. Um, so yeah, thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Mia. Thank you always to Jackie for doing what you do and making the comic so awesome, despite it being so involved sometimes, I'm sure. And uh, thanks to everybody who came to this and stayed up. <laughs> That's crazy of you that if anyone's been here the entire time, and I think some of them have. I There are definitely um, a few people that were still here from the beginning earlier. Like, I haven't looked at chat in a minute because I'm frightened, too. You're all American heroes. What's the Kickstarter <laughs> at right now? I'm, I'm uh, trying to stretch this just a little bit if I can get a live it's reaction. still at 8.53. I know. Okay. <sighs> That's okay. Hopefully when I wake up in uh, six and a half or five yeah. and a half hours, yeah, uh, go the fuck to sleep. I will... Uh, it, it'll be good to go, hey, but uh, my yeah. Live thanks everybody. On camera. Yeah. <laughs> live um, reaction, yeah. bug react. Oh fuck! It's at what nine, Troy said. It's at nine thirty-eight. It is seventy. Oh There's, shit! It's, it's literally. It's sixty-two so bucks away. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh god. We get, we get, everybody, we get everybody. I have I have one more thing to say. If we need to pad it out. Go. Okay. Go. 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 Okay. Um. This is a uh, work in progress right now, but I'm working with uh. Canadian library distributors uh, to get the Marble Hornets comics in libraries Fuck in Canada. Yeah. I don't know about how the States runs it. I don't even know how b about the rest of Canada. But if you live in the greater Toronto area or even Ontario or even Canada, contact your local library and ask if they can carry any Marble Hornets issues if you want an issue for free. If you don't have money, like, people are like... People message me and are like, I, I want to read the comics, but I have no money. Y go to a library. Ask no, your librarians. You can you can fucking do it. Um, so there you go. That's, That's fun so news. That's true. We'll That's see how, how it works had, with American libraries next. But. I had to I had to go and get ISBN numbers for all of these comics, which is something yes. I meant to do forever ago. But <laughs> once Jackie had them going to, uh, wanted to get them in the library, I was like, okay, I should probably do this now. So... <laughs> Yes, I I am going to try to figure out how all of that works here too. So there might be something in the Atlanta area at some point. All right, fuck it. I'm 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 pledging. I'm pledging. I haven't done it yet. I'm pledging. Yeah, you have yes! it. Kyle, can you be the hero that Wait, we need? It, it's sixty-five dollars, highest tier. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna. That'll do, do it. That's what I'm, I'm gonna, gonna bring it up. We were ahead. we were talking about how doing because we were discussing like do we want to do a signed issue with everybody? And we were like, yeah, I mean, it's going to be crazy because the next time we're all going to be in a room like together, like me, Joseph and Tim will be when we sign these books, probably uh, when we haven't been in the same room for like, maybe, I don't know, almost a decade, probably. Yeah. 2014, so, I think would have been. Yeah. So yeah, like that's going to be wild. We're going to have to figure out where we're going to meet because we all live in different places now. <laughs> I'm I'm literally I'm I'm trying I'm trying so hard to stall. I'm signing up for a Kickstarter right now. Yeah, it says on cancel Kyle Kyle Redemption arc. I'm trying. Yeah, if chat. you can get this done before someone else does, you'll if be the I'm hero. Pressure's on. Chat, I'm trying. If someone else does it before me, I mean, I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> I was going on a trip to Tennessee a couple of months ago with Callie, and I drove by Joseph's house without realizing it. Should have well, knocked on the door. <laughs> oh fuck! It nice. happened! It happened! Two thousand, twenty thousand, oh, what? twenty thousand, twenty thousand. Let's before, fucking go! Before I could even hold on, I'm pulling up on stream. Uh, is it this window? Nope, that's Discord. <laughs> uh, what one is fucking Kickstarter? Uh, holy shit! During what? What time did you launch this? Noon. Uh, yeah, right at noon. Yeah. That is so. 14 and a half hours yeah and i didn't post it on uh i didn't post it on youtube until what a couple like hours, three ago? hours ago so yeah there we so, are yes yeah. wow we did it's it happening the, we did it for the mustard girl. ron paul is happening Amazing. like it's, it's... <laughs> uh and now a hundred thousand i'm gonna keep streaming until we hit a hundred thousand Oh no, don't put it at $100,000, whatever will I do? 
<laughs> Invader Zim fanfic. Tell your friends. It's like, I'll tell you exactly what you're going to do, motherfucker. <laughs> but, okay, this is a great. Goodbye. This is a goodbye. great thing to end on. I'm yeah, gonna I've, get going. I'm gonna you. get in that bed behind me right this second. Good night. Good night. Sweet <laughs> oh, yeah. dreams. Thank you. Good for your night, time. all. Thank Bye, everybody. Love you Marvel all. Internets. Thank you for being here. Bye. Kisses. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize Jackie was also anyway, out. Fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. Come to me. Me and I are doing a cool stream tomorrow. This stream sucks. That's right. Sixteen, almost seventeen hours of my life. Fuck that. How long, it's, how long has it been? Has uh, it been 16, 16 hours? 16 hours and 41 minutes, to be precise. What the fuck? And I still got Clear Lakes and Equa. <laughs> That's another hour right there. You want to do this? I have nothing. I have nothing and nobody. <laughs> well, good luck. <laughs> <laughs>